Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mechanismaler.com. A planetary gear mechanism can be used as a torque splitter or as a speed adder mechanism. If we have one power input to a planetary gear system we can split this power into two different power outputs. In this video I will demonstrate how a planetary gear system can be used as a speed adder. Assume that a diesel engine rotates large blue gear with constant angular velocity. In turn, the blue gear rotates the yellow ring gear of the planetary gear system with a constant angular speed of 1. The red sun gear of the planetary gear system is powered by a hydrostatic transmission system not shown in here. I will put a link to my hydrostatic transmission video at the end of this presentation. The hydrostatic transmission makes the sun gear to rotate in either direction at different speeds. When a planetary gear system, with a constant ring gear speed, is combined with a hydrostatic transmission driven sun gear, it creates a continuously variable transmission system. These systems also known as CVT systems are often used within the farm and construction power equipments. The graph on the top right shows the operation of this transmission. When I was doing my calculations, I assumed the positive direction of the ring gear to be clockwise, and the sun gear to be counterclockwise. The x-axis of this graph shows the angular velocity of the sun gear, with red numbers. The y-axis in the graph shows the rotation speed of planetary gear cage, with blue numbers. The planetary cage will be referred as the cage from now on. The cage is connected to the tires of the equipment. The cage speed is also displayed here while the position of the red dot is changing. I should mention one more time that, the yellow ring gear rotates with the constant angular velocity value of 1. All the variables and constants I am going to mention here are related to the system shown here, and they will have different values for different arrangements. Here are important points in this graph. When the red dot is on the x-axis, the angular velocity of the sun gear is 2, and it rotates in the opposite direction of the ring gear. Therefore both of them are rotating in their assumed positive directions. Notice that the cage has zero angular velocity, while the planetary gears are rotating. This is the point where the output may be switched from the forward motion to reverse. When the speed of the sun gear is equal to the ring gear, which is 1, the speed of the cage is 33% of the ring gear. When the red gear rotation is stopped the cage rotates at 67% of the ring gear. When the sun gear and the ring gear are rotating in the same speed in the same direction, the angular velocity of the cage is 1. The angular velocity of the sun is minus 1, since it is rotating in the opposite direction of its assumed positive direction. In this case, the gear system is in its direct coupled mode. Notice that the negative angular velocity means that it is rotating clockwise, and its assumed positive direction is counterclockwise. When the sun gear rotates twice as fast from the ring gear, the cage rotates 1.33 times faster than ring gear. When the sun gear rotates 3 times as fast as the ring gear, the cage rotates 1.67 times faster than the ring gear. And finally when the sun rotates 4 times as fast as the ring gear, the cage rotates 2 times faster than the ring gear. Reverse rotation of the cage is obtained when the sun gear rotation value goes above 2. For example, when the speed of the sun gear has a value of 3, the speed of the cage will be 33% of the ring gear in the reverse direction.
Finally for the Sun Gear speeds of 4 and 5 the speeds of the cage will be 67 and 100% of the ring gear, in the reverse direction, respectively. Thank you for watching our videos and if you enjoyed what you saw here please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.